Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going to do a reading on Brian Koberger. Um, I remember when I initially looked into the Idaho murder, I thought of it as a revenge killing and then some fucking idiots came into the comment section and said, LOL, revenge killing. You don't know what you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. I still stick by that synopsis and analysis. Um, so before looking at Brian Koberger, we can't say if he's guilty or not because um, that is going to be determined in the court of law. You're innocent until proven guilty, but um, he is a Scorpio, November 21st, highly intelligent, highly educated, was getting his PhD in criminal justice and had his uh, undergrad, I think, in psychology. Kind of reminds me of, he kind of energetically reminds me of Brian Koberger's energy. Okay, I don't know any anything about him, but his energy reminds me of a mixture of um, Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy. So somehow, energetically, I feel like he's like these two people. Like a part of his personality is kind of like this awkward Jeffrey Dahmer thing. And then a part of his personality is Ted Bundy. Um, so I'm going to do a reading on him and just see what else is going to come through. Now, before we also get into it, I wanted to say that when I did the spirit box session on it, on him, uh, we did hear the name and also the car that he drives, Elantra or something like that, Elantra, Honda or something. Didn't The spirit, spirit didn't say Honda, but it said Elantra and I specifically remember that and I know that Coburg or something like that was also, um, oh, that came forward. So this card fell out, the Fool card. Is he a fool for committing this crime? I don't know. The Hierophant came out, which is my God card. The Three of Swords came out. The Six of Pentacles came out. He came out because he's, he's November 21st. He's a Scorpio, which is King of Cups. Queen of Swords came out. Okay, so, okay. All right. So what it looks like is that this guy, Brian Koberg, had to travel physically to come to this rental house in Moscow, Idaho. And I think there was an interest in one of the girls. I don't know which girl he was interested in. There was an interest. He was interested in one of the girls. This is him, King of Cups. He showed up next to a girl. And then we also have the Three of Swords, which is like maybe he was competing for this girl's attention and she was giving attention to another guy. So like I said, revenge killing, like the first time I said it and the fucking idiot that came on, I commented that I made fun of that and I said, and I, and it's gonna come out that this was revenge killing. It's gonna come out that this is revenge killing and the person that made that comment is just gonna feel like a fucking idiot because you don't know shit from anything. You're just some fucking normal person with no gifts or talents. And you're just stupid as fuck. So this was a revenge killing because he showed up. One of the girls, his interest, he was interested in one of the girls. He traveled to see her or maybe to stalk her. This was uh, a lover's thing where she was interested in somebody else. It's like she was in love with someone else and he was in love with her. He wanted to um, shower her with gifts. He wanted to date her, court her, take her out. Um, I have, the, I have this deck that I don't know how to read and there's no pamphlet for it. This was a gift 
by one of the alienators. Um, again, a girl came out. This kind of looks like one of the girls. I don't know which one. And it says 29. And it's Ace of and it's the Ace of Cups. And she's holding a rose. And she's looking away. I think that Brian Koberg, Koberger, whatever his name is, Korberg, what's, what is his name? I don't know, whatever, was stalking this, one of the girls at the house. Uh, that's, what it's, that's what it's looking like, that he was stalking. Yeah. He was going to school. This is again, the compass is about traveling. This is school, books. Again, love. This is about attraction, love. This is about wanting the object of your desire to want you back to, he wanted to be in a relationship. He was delusional about one of the girls, like that he had a chance with her, but I don't think he did. Uh, it was like one-sided. This is the house. The moon, what happened there? How old is this Brian guy? Because I have a guy card here with the number 28. Is he 28 years old? Because I have that right here. Yeah, so he saw this girl that he was interested in as like a unicorn. He was very attracted to her, was madly in love with her. We have the snake here, which I think uh, to me suggests sex. He had like lustful sexual like attraction to this girl, but she was not interested in him. Uh, a cross came out. I don't know what this card means, but he studied, he was trying to get his PhD in criminology. And I think that he has a fascination with death. I don't know if any of the girls were touched inappropriately. If there was like, you know, the R situation, like if they were assaulted in any shape or form, but I see him being interested, attracted to, he has like these, uh neuroses that i think he was trying to hold back and then not act out on but he want he wants to act at, act it out like there's a part of i told you guys energetically he reminds me of like he's half jeffrey Dahmer, half ted bundy and ted bundy used to um sexually assault his victims after they died full-on like kept their body parts and like had sex with them after like like for weeks and stuff and i i see him being interested in, in something similar like that these this deck is really cool i don't know how to read i just look at the images and see what comes comes in but yeah so i so we don't know if he did it or not i'm just telling you guys what's coming through and what i see um let me go with my other deck. So we have the Ten of Swords. This is him. I think this is game over. They are going to find evidence. I don't think he's going to uh, co cooperate with the police. He's going to be quiet. But it's, it's uh, game over for him because they're gonna have evidence. I think they already have evidence or they're gonna have evidence and this is game over for him. We have the 10 of swords. So he's gonna be convicted. Yeah, 1000% he's gonna be convicted. Again, I have the three of swords again. The three of swords is revenge killing for me, okay? Again, the fucking idiot that made fun of that. I said, this other psychic that I looked at said that their name, said their name and this, It's like as if I, you know, it's like if I, if I make shoes and I sell shoes 
and then somebody comes into my store and says well this other store has these shoes and they're they have sneakers and flip-flops and you only have heels so and I'm gonna be like well I'm sorry like that's what I sell and that's what I make I make heels if you want to buy sneakers and flip-flops you can go to that other store it's like why are you coming to my fucking channel and saying that you don't like my psychic input or my psychic analysis and that this, there's this other fucking psychic channel that's right and you're just like the psychic channel is so fucking amazing right so why are you not just staying on that fucking channel and be loyal to them why do you have to watch my channel you know what i mean like it just make it make sense this was a, this was a, and the home came out. This was a revenge killing. Now, revenge on whom, what, I don't know. But that's it, I may, when I'm in a better mood, I'll do a better analysis reading, all right? I hope you guys have a great weekend, bye.